a condition that seems to grip many women and men at some point in their lives is a little something called baby fever. Yes, lots of people suddenly get a hankering to squeezing little cheeks or gently bite little legs. You can usually identify this baby fever by how high and shrill a person's voice uncontrollably gets when they see any human under the age of two. Of course, innovators are working hard to make sure that new technology is sufficient to service a new infant. Here's Albert Lawrence to explain. Babies. They're precious, adorable, and terrifying. For new parents, worrying about the health and welfare of a child is pretty much a 24-7 job. Luckily, there's one innovation that's helping parents sleep a lot better at night. I took a trip to Lehigh, Utah to meet Michael Bunn, Vice President of Design and Creative at a company called Owlet to learn more about a baby monitor they've innovated that, get this, is completely embedded inside a tiny sock. So how does the Owlet Smart Sock work? The Smart Sock is this little wearable device that the baby will wear while they sleep and it'll monitor their heart rate and oxygen. And that will go on baby's foot and then you have a base station that will go on parents' nightstand and that will notify parents if something goes wrong during the night. Can we talk about like the, the function, the format, the form of it? One of the challenges is that baby's feet grow dramatically from when they're a newborn all the way till they're about two years old. And so we made this design that is a wrap and decided to do a little baby booty that goes on the foot because it's one of the locations where you can get best and most accurate readings, as well as the baby can't really reach it or, or interact with it very much. The big idea was to replicate all the equipment used to monitor a newborn in a hospital and create something parents could easily access and manage at home. No small feat, but it did require a lot of small feet. Wow, okay, well, Michael, there are so many feet. There are little things to go <laughs> on feet. I How know. do you start? <laughs> I know, it might be a little creepy, but man, it is so helpful <laughs> to be able to have these anatomically correct feet to mm -hmm. use. What am I holding here? What exactly is doing all the work within this? We have a microcontroller, but this is where the battery, this is where Bluetooth antennas are, this is where the LED and photodiodes are, and it can see what's happening kind of inside the blood. And that's how it reads how much oxygen is actually in the blood. And that's how you also read your heart rate. And so you're taking that pulse ox technology and that's scaling it down, wow. making it wireless, which is one of the bigger challenges when I was talking about these PCB boards and the electronics is taking something that is large currently, most monitors are large, scaling it down that it can fit as small on a foot this big <laughs> and be wireless has been the biggest challenge for us to figure out. The smart sock is usable on babies from five up to 30 pounds. And because the base station is connected to the internet, you can monitor your baby from anywhere using the Outlet app on your phone. Of course, the biggest question I had was where did all the baby feet come from? So we have a database of just all the different sizes of feet by weight and age to help us just know how to better design. This is like Pinocchio's so. dream. <laughs> <Yeah>. <laughs>